not yours. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine by me. I'll meet. We will meet anywhere our uh, citizens so choose. I was about to say customers, but, well, you won't be paying for this. But I'll get into all that in just a moment. I tend to be a bit of a perfectionist at times. Not sure if you can relate. Okay then. Well, what's that? And I use air quotes because, well, I'm sure you know, but I'll explain everything in case you don't. Imagine, if you will be so kind as to indulge me. Imagine. And uh, this only works if you show the same kind of uh, 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 expression of sheer wonder and amazement. Okay, so let's try this again, shall we? Imagine. Imagine you are imagining the mo 
most imaginable thing that is so awesome and, and wonderful and amazing. Okay, one more time. Imagine. That's it. Imagine. If you will, be so kind as to oblige me. anymore. And that is because not only did 
organization. Seize control of everything. Okay. But they made it all free. How about that? Isn't that amazing? Right? So, you don't have to pay for anything anymore. If you need food, the NWO make sure they send out folks to deliver your weekly rations. Alright? If you need some nails, then you arrange for a meeting with the nail. Or is it the tool man? I forget. There's so many different departments, so many different employees. And the all you have to do, the NWO just makes sure that you put in your fair share of work that you contribute, that you participate and cooperate in working, whatever it might be, whether it's gardening, cleaning up trash, etc., etc., being a teacher, construction, things like that. Helping distribute the weekly food rations, whatever it might be, working for the NWO. And of course, to make sure that everyone participates and cooperates and works, the NWO has its own militia that goes around to making sure you're working appropriate hours, which I believe is from 10 o'clock to 3 or 4 o'clock. Well, it actually, it depends on the type of job. But some jobs are evening. Um, but of course, if you aren't working and pulling your weight, well, uh, let's not talk about that, okay? But, uh, yes... So, everything is free, and the NWO decides what is made available for you to acquire. No more money is needed. You just work, and then, if you need a new shirt, you wait for the shirt man to arrive once every six months or a year. It all depends. Some of us who work for the various departments of the NWO um, arrive, will show up at your door or meet with you once a week. Could be once a month, once a year. It all depends on what it is that you need. Of course, there are no more cars or gasoline, except for um, when it comes to buses and the militia and their vehicles, tanks and whatnot, military jets, but the average citizen, the public at large, only has access to bicycles for their mode of transportation. No more cars or anything like that. So, okay, but I'm sure you know all of this, don't you? And that's why you and I are meeting here today. You see, people call me the candy man, but you, you, my newfound friend, can call me Rufus. I like that name. Rufus. It's not my real name. I can't disclose that, but I always wished that my parents could have named me Rufus. Okay, well, that's it for the history lesson. I'm sorry to have, you know, bored you with all that. So, why don't we get down to business? I have with me 
candy that is available this month. I used to deliver it on a weekly basis, but a little bit too uh, difficult to do that. The logistics of trying to meet with every single, well, me and many others, um, the work for the, the candy division of the nice, wonderful organization. It's very difficult to, you know, with the billions of people across the world, very difficult to meet with all of them on a weekly basis, so it's now monthly. Alright, so I have some available candy here for you that you can have right now, today, okay, as part of the NWO's monthly candy stipend or allotment allowance, however you like to think about it, as their way of saying thank you for your contribution and hard work in helping helping to keep society running. Alright, so without any further ado, why don't we get started? See what I have first. right inside there.
what's that? Am I gonna sample it to make sure it's safe? Oh, what do you mean, safe? You're concerned that the NWO, that nice, wonderful organization that it is, perfect name, by the way, is going to put something in the candy to, what, poison its citizens across the world. If the NWO wanted to get rid of its citizens, it could do that in a far more direct manner than sending me see what else, what next I have in store for you. Just randomly reach in here. Ah, uh, yes. That's it. 
and everything now has a number. So if you want to go to a certain location, you want to go to, well, Russia, you would go to uh, 28, I think is the number for Russia. So, of course, there are some sticklers out there who like to go by the old ways and still refer to that area on Earth as Russia, but there's all the names are no longer in use. So, no, all the maps, there's just no dividing lines anymore that separate, that used to separate the countries. No more countries. Okay? It's just all owned and controlled by the NWO and everyone. We are all so much happier for it. We work. We don't get paid traditionally like people used to do 15, 21 millennia ago. And we just wait for the NWO uh, different people, different departments to show up at our front door with whatever the NWO has decided to make available that day or that week. So, okay, but enough about the history lesson. Good and plenties. You take a look. the sample. Sure, here you go. So, what do you say? What do you think? They're okay. Or does that mean you don't want your monthly free sample or what we are offering uh, this month? You don't want the good and plenties? No? Okay. You sure? I mean, I can leave them on the table and then you can always make your mind up. Okay, I'll do that. Sure, no problem. Okay. Alright, let's see. Next candy available this month, courtesy of the nice, wonderful organization. Again, 
like I said previously, the NWO decided to keep the name brands for all the products for nostalgia purposes. I believe that NWO was the nice, wonderful organization was thinking about calling these NWO Whistlers or NW Whistlers O, something like that, something catchy, but decided not to. So we have red and black colored licorice, but uh, the red. next and I would love to sample these along with you but well if I was to sample the candy with every customer that I meet and I meet um, it depends 10 20 customers a day or so could be more all depends on how much time it takes, but, well, that's a lot of candy, and I would probably go into some kind of sugar overdose, okay, so I like to avoid that situation, all right, all right, so anyway, um, next we have Whoppers, again, that original name, And 
Another old time classic. These go back to the 1900s. That's how many millennia ago. I'm talking like, I don't know, 57 millennia. Maybe 8 millennia. Something around there. These are called nickel nips. Because they used to be sold for a nickel and you just take a little nip of them um, to get to the, the uh, let me show you Oh, 
can hear that. sample. Sure thing. What do you think?
chocolate coating on the outside. Take one out and I'll show you exactly what I mean. see the mint center and that layer of dark chocolate. Let me get you a sample.
finger. Would you care for this free stipend of candy? You would. Excellent. Okay, let's see what we have next. As if there was a whole other reality or a different universe where the NWO was not the nice, wonderful organization, but instead the complete opposite, tyrannical, evil, and they enslaved the human race and they As if we met before, but under the premise that I was trading contraband candy that was no longer made available. That's, that's the kind of feeling, the deja vu that I have. Isn't that funny? I mean, but <laughs> another universe, another reality. I mean, that's preposterous. There's no such thing. I mean, I know scientists, well, of course, science and all sciencey things are owned, controlled by the NWO now. There's no longer any disinformation. The NWO disseminates only facts, the objective truth. But um, there are theories about multiverse, but, you know, come on. So, I mean, I'm no scientist. My specialty is sugar. But, anyway, isn't that strange? How I would think that, that we met under completely different, more terrible circumstances. Well, let's just be thankful that the NWO didn't enslave everyone, bring them down to a very base, primal, primitive level of existence, and ban everything. That would be a horrible way to live. Let's be thankful that the NWO, that we know the nice, wonderful organization that it is, all it asks of us all it makes us do is work for it, and in return, what do we get? We get what the NWO chooses to give us. Okay, yeah, 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 we don't have the freedom we once did to buy anything. Everything is locked up and owned by the NWO. You have to wait for someone to show up at your door. And the NWO decides what you can have. But I think that's, I think that's not a bad thing. I got used to it. So, I mean, it's all that we know anyway. I can't imagine what it must have been like to have that kind of um, lack of responsibility. To, to be paid money and then frivolously spend money on things you probably don't need. So it's a good thing that the NWO got rid of money, 
controls everything and they decide they know what's best for us. Really, when it comes down to it, they know what's best for us and they decide what we can have, what we can enjoy. If you want a video game, to play a new video game, you have to wait. And it's true, the NWO has its own devs, developers. It's true, the NWO now owns EA, Bungie, Rockstar Games, Nintendo, Sony, PlayStation, etc. They own all the computer components. So, while they still own those brand names, well, I don't want to get into a big thing. If you ever want to learn more, just meet with the video game man. When he comes around once a year, every six months, something like that, every quarter, I don't know. Anyway, sorry to get off topic there. The next candy available is Swedish fish. Have you ever heard? Yeah. They are simply delectable candy made of sugar and fish found and grown only in Sweden. It's truly remarkable. Allow me to take one out and uh, show you, give you a sample. Next confection available is what is known as circus peanuts. These 
See, it looks like a peanut. But then, you can see it has a nice, firm, very soft, it's somewhat soft, it melts, easily melts in your mouth. But at first, a little bit of a resistance. for a 
sample. Okay, sure thing. Just reach right in there. And take a few out.
So here is your monthly free allotment. Gummies, Swedish fish, Whoppers, Twizzlers, Lemonheads, Butterfingers, Good and Plenty's, Smarties, Circus Peanuts, non pareils Nickel Nips, of the NWL, the nice, wonderful organization. So here you go. Alright, well, it was a pleasure doing business with you, the NWL, and I would like to thank you for all of your hard work. Some might say forced labor and servitude, but that's a little bit of a harsh statement. When you consider the fact that you don't have to pay for anything, everything is given to you for free, even though it is the NWO that decides what you get to have. But is that how it should be, really? They know what's best for everyone after all. Okay, so that's going to do it for me. That's going to do it for me. So once again, it was a pleasure to meet you and to make your acquaintance. And I hope to see you again in the near future. Until then, enjoy your candy. See you again sometime.